you're ready for a comeback. And with Purdue Global, you can do more than take classes. You can take charge of your story, of your career, of your life. Earn a degree you can be proud of and get an education employers respect. It's time, your time, not just to go back to school, but to come back and move forward with Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback at purdueglobal.edu. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T.com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Hello. From Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about folk heroes, women whose lives and stories took on mythic proportions. Today, we're talking about a real woman whose story of fierce fighting and selfless sacrifice made her a revolutionary hero. Many Argentines consider her La Madre de la Patria, the mother of the homeland. Let's talk about La Capitana Maria Remedios de la Valle. We're not sure when Maria was born, but we do know where. On the western shore of the Rio de la Plata in Buenos Aires, Argentina. In military records, she's listed as a parda, a term that referred to the tri-racial descendants of Europeans, West Africans, and indigenous people. In some tellings of Maria's story, her mother was enslaved, and her father was her mother's enslaver. When Maria found out, she left home forever. In the era when Maria was growing up, What we know today as the separate countries of Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Bolivia were all under Spanish rule. White Europeans held most of the power. In May of 1810, as France invaded mainland Spain, Argentines saw their moment, and so began their war for independence. By July, Maria, her husband, and their two children had all joined up to fight the Spanish colonizers with the Army of the North. For a while, Maria's role was to help with domestic chores like cooking, cleaning, and caring for injured soldiers. But she wanted to do more. One night on the eve of the Battle of Tucumán, Maria asked the army's general, would they let her head to the front lines of the war so she could tend to the wounded there? The general said no. The battlefield was no place for a woman. Maria disagreed. The next day, as the troops marched into battle, Maria was there too, and she did exactly what she said she'd do, heal the troops amidst all the fighting. Instead of punishing Maria for disobeying, the general saw her bravery for what it was. He named her an army captain. A year later, Maria found herself in trouble. She was injured and captured by Spanish soldiers. But not even prison stopped Maria. She was said to have come to the aid of other captured commanders, officers, and soldiers, even helping them escape, as she remained behind. When her captors realized what she'd been doing, they ordered her to be whipped in public for nine days. Eventually, Maria escaped and somehow made her way back to the army and the battlefield. In 1816, Argentina declared independence from Spain. Over the course of the war, Maria lost her husband and children to the violence. But through it all, she continued caring for her people. That's probably where her nickname, Madre de la Patria, came from. Despite all that Maria contributed to independence, she found herself destitute. In 1826, Maria tried to apply for a military pension, but she was denied. No one believed that a woman had served in combat. She was homeless and begging for food. Her family was gone. She'd given everything in her life to the homeland. That's how General Juan José Viamonte found her. He had fought alongside Maria in the war, and one day, as he was walking down the street, he saw how his country had forgotten La Capitana. Furious, General Viamonte and Maria's other comrades submitted another pension request on her behalf. It took a few years, but eventually, Maria received a lifelong military salary. A few months later, Maria was made an active sergeant major by the governor of Buenos Aires. She kept that title until she died on November 8, 1847. 
After her death, Maria's story was lost to history for nearly a century. It wasn't until the 1930s that her name was put forth as a hero of Argentina's independence. Maria's real moments of recognition came in the 21st century. By 2008, she was heralded again as Madre de la Patria. In 2013, Argentina established the National Day of Afro-Argentines and African Culture. It's celebrated every year on the anniversary of Maria's death. In 2022, a monument of Maria was erected. She's barefoot and bare-chested, a holster slung across her shoulders. She grips a large flag and is caught in an expression of fierceness. Chin raised, she yells in defiance, La Capitana, La Madre de la Patria. All month, we're talking about folk heroes. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. Curiosity Stream is the streaming service for people who want to know more. And now check out Curiosity's new series, The Real Wild West. Rolling Stone magazine says it's the history of the West they usually don't teach you. The mythology of the West left out a lot of the people. People said they'd never seen a black cowboy. This is the history book, but did you know about these other facts? Watch The Real Wild West now on Curiosity Stream. With monthly, annual, and bundled plans, find the one that works for you at CuriosityStream.com. At Metro by T-Mobile, there's not a yada yada. That means no contracts, no price hikes, and no surprises. We don't even hide what the lawyers make us say. We put it first. When we say no price hikes, we mean when you join Metro, your price will never increase for talk, text, and smartphone data. Our only exclusions are for limited time promos, free as charges, and third-party services. Not a yada yada means wireless without the gotcha. Only at Metro. All-inclusive vacations make life easy with endless eats, bottomless drinks, and never-ending fun. So booking an all-inclusive vacation should be easy too, right? That's where Apple Vacations comes in. Book your all-inclusive getaway with Apple Vacations and receive exclusive perks at select resorts. You'll find the best deals to sun and sand destinations in Mexico and the Caribbean. And enjoy a selection of exclusive non-stop vacation flights. Turn on easy mode at applevacations.com or call your local travel advisor to get started.